All right, so in this video, we're gonna finish up this setup here. We will add some of these amber style particles just swirling around and also assemble it all together into the sequencer to get the events to occur one after another. So we have the charging and we have the explosion and we have the amber particles. So let's make a copy of our NS release Niagara system, that's the explosion. We're gonna use that as the base for the particles. So just again, control D and just call, just call it NS underscore embers, double click. We can actually just delete the gas emitter because we don't need any smoke for this, which means that we can also delete the set fluid source attributes and we can make the gravity much less strong. So maybe just minus 200 for the gravity. And I would like the particles to be alive for much longer. 2.5 seconds until 4 seconds. That would be the minimum maximum range. Maybe the force doesn't have to be as strong. So the velocity can just be 250 to 500. I would also like more particles. So burst. Let's just do a thousand particles. But we also maybe want to make them smaller. So initialize particle and... The size can just be, let's say, 0.5 till 1.5. And maybe the curl noise can be even stronger. So 1500 for the noise. Thing that might be good. So let's just hide our smoke simulation and just drop the NS embers into the scene. We have our nice sort of ember style particles showing up. And now finally we can just assemble everything together with the sequencer. So I'll just click here and make a new level sequence. Let's go to our Redefine FX folder, levels, and just call it a SQ for sequence underscore charge up. Select the character and drag it into our timeline. And for the animation, just click on the plus sign and select the animation sequence. So now when you play this, she's going through her animation. Perfect. We can extend the timeline here, maybe set it to 400, extend the end of this. Next, we need to put our first Niagara system in here, which would be our charge up. You know, enable that and drag it into the sequencer. Again, plus sign and select the Niagara component. And click on this plus sign and select the Niagara system lifecycle track. And this way we can just start assembling the events together. So this should be right in the middle of our character. So if I play this, she's charging up. And I can tell that the timing is a bit off, right? I need this charging animation to finish sooner. So let's open it up. You can either right click and say edit, or you can just do control E and that will open up that for you. So let's go to system update and we want the loop duration to be just two seconds. And I think the particles could still be moving faster in the middle. So point attraction force set that to maybe 12 and 20. Charge up, charge up and boom. Perfect. So now we need the release. That would be this one. Enable it in the scene. Drag it into the sequencer. Again, plus sign, Niagara component and system live track. Watch it. That's too soon. Play it again from the beginning. Charging up and boom, that's too late. So I think we're right here. And then finally we need the embers, which will go right on top. So embers plus sign Niagara component and the system live track, move it right above extend it, hit G to hide all the gizmos, go back to frame zero and then start. And let's watch this thing. Boom. Okay, so I think that the embers could stay alive for longer for sure. I really want them to linger. So embers, initialized particle, lifetime, let's do four to seven seconds. I also need the character animation to not reset. I just need her to stay in place, right? So again, when I play this, she charges up, releases her arms, 
and then she snaps back to this position unfortunately so we can just right click on the animation you know maybe just pause it um, right click on the animation of the character properties and here it says when finished just say keep state and this will keep her frozen on the last frame on her of her animation so she just stays in place so again reset play this charging and boom embers fly around smoke dissipates and then the whole thing loops so we are basically there so if you want the smoke to be gone before the loop repeats so there's no sort of a sudden break right you can just increase the dissipation for the smoke just a touch so that's our ns release emitter summary simulation dissipation rate density let's just set that to one so that the smoke really disappears pretty fast and this way there should be nothing left by the time this scene ends so one more time boom smoke is disappearing quickly and it's gone before it loops again perfect and finally i think that the particles could be even more emissive and glowing so in our m sprite emissive material for the multiply value i'll just set this to 500 because i really want it to glow save that and now we have some really nice glowing particles here beautiful and you know make sure that you just save all and now you can just hit play to play the level this way you will get the character you know you can just freely walk around and enjoy the volumetric effect of this now if you just don't like how fast the character is running you can go back into your content browser and while we're here let's just add this ceramic floor material to the floor to make it a bit nicer and then you can go into the content folder and just search for the third person character this one the bp underscore third person character that's the blueprint for the mannequin that walks around so just double click to open that then you can click on the character movement and here you have maximum walk speed by default this is set to 500 so you can set it to something like 150 just save that and now when you play the level um, the character will walk around much slower which i think is much cooler for sort of recording capture and it just looks cooler when he's not running around as fast as before so it's just a quick tip for you now I'm gonna leave it up to you to make some kind of a nice environment these are just quixel models just some basic trees and a forest ground really didn't spend more than maybe 10-15 minutes making this basic forest environment so I will leave it up to you to make anything you would like for that just maybe final touch what you can do is increase the resolution of the smoke just a touch more so emitter summary instead of 350 maybe we can do 420 resolution and this will give you even more detail in the smoke so let's watch this one last time and it's honestly pretty beautiful detail considering it's directly inside of unreal engine in real time completely volumetric super cool stuff so i hope that you guys enjoyed this series of lessons we've covered a lot of ground three different particle setups a lot of different modules and techniques you know emissive material some curl noise force attraction force lots of stuff and i will see you in the final few videos for the force field setup next